more time, um, one more time, sorry. Uh, I want to speak to the country of Kenya, what the Lord has spoken to my spirit this morning on the 14th day of June 2020. And I want to, I've always said that every prophetic word uh, has a backup of the scriptures. The Bible says in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 1, that after a long war, David works stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul worked weaker and weaker. That is the word of God. Now, the Bible says in John chapter 14 and verse 12, the church is fearless, powerful. That is what the word of God is showing us, John 14 and verse 12. The church is fearless, it is powerful, it is anointed, and full of God's authority. That is the church of Jesus Christ. It is powerful. Church is very powerful. She's, she's the bride of Christ. So she's, very, she's fearless, she's powerful, and anointed, and full of God's authority. Now, I want the nation, I mean the nation of Kenya to know, this is a word for the country of Kenya, the Lord has put in my spirit this morning. Now, when the righteous are silent, the wicked will always rise. Wickedness will increase when the righteous are silent. And that's why I'm praying, a prayer is a prophet of God in this country, that the righteous men and women should not be silent. We cannot be silent. When we see corruption, we cannot be silent. Because every time the, the, the righteous are silent, wickedness will always rise. The other thing is that when the righteous rule, the nation will always have peace. So the Church of Jesus Christ should pray from that understanding that we need righteous men and women in all the places of authority, of influence in the nation of Kenya. Now, I want to clarify something as a prophet in the country, that the battle uh, of, of the church in Kenya is not about the nation Kenya. It's not about us. It is not about us. Kenya is a father nation in Africa. It is a father nation in the continent of Africa. Kenya is a, is a, is a, is a, is a spiritual Israel. And uh, the Lord spoke to my spirit and said, just like the way he's concerned about the physical Israel, that is the way God is concerned about the nation of Kenya. By the way, God is so much jealous about this country, very much jealous, because the nation of Kenya has the mark of God. So the battle in the church of this country, it is not about the nation of Kenya as per se. It is about the prophetic coup that Kenya is concerning the nations of Africa because this is a father nation of Africa. And it's because, it's because the battle is coming and becoming very stiff because of the prophetic agenda and assignment of the nation of Kenya in the nations of the world. Now, the any time revival, that is actually in the second coming of our Messiah Jesus Christ. It has been part in the nation of Kenya. That great move of God that is being awaited, that many nations have been crying and telling God, we are waiting for this end time revival. That move of God has been part in the nation of Kenya. Now you know why the battle is very stiff in the nation of Kenya. Hallelujah. Now, uh, God has already marked the country Kenya and the Lord has marked the country of Kenya for his own works and for his own glory. Now, um, he is now going, the Lord told me, I am now going to, to do a massive work. The Lord is going to, be, to do a massive work of removing on the way, of removing on the way any kind of a spirit of Pharaoh. You know the spirit of Pharaoh is that spirit that hardens itself, you know, trying to, 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 to overtake, to overthrow, you know, trying to curtail or to stop that which is the agenda of God in the seasons of God. So the Lord told me this morning he is going to deal with that spirit and we know what God did with the spirit of Pharaoh. At the end of the day he dealt with it to a point of death and that's what I've been saying the nation of Kenya. These two months, these two months, the month of June and the month of July, and I've been telling my people, and I've still continue saying this word in the nation of Kenya, prepare your heart, because you're going to hear things you have never heard. You're going to see things that you have never seen, because when God comes to do his operation in a country, nobody and nothing can stop him. So the spirit of Pharaoh in the nation of Kenya and the spirit of Herod, God is dealing with that. 
It's only God who was able, when King Jesus was born, it's only Jesus who was able to deal with King Herod. It is only God who is going to deal with the spirit of Herod in the nation of Kenya in Jesus' name. And as a church, we know what God did to the spirit of Herod during the time of, of, of the birth of Jesus Christ. So the Lord is saying, his mighty heart is now already outstretched to do his works in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, the other thing is, I'm writing what the, I was writing some things in the spirit, so I'm, I'm just going to read them. Now, the more Pharaoh increased, I mean, the, the more Pharaoh uh, increased the hard labor against the children of Israel. The Bible says the more he increased the hard labor for the children of Israel, that the more God increased them. And I'm saying this afternoon that the church of Jesus Christ in the country it is increasing day by day. The church of Jesus Christ it is increasing day by day. Now, the more the, the Hebrew, I mean Pharaoh, colluded with the Hebrew uh, midwives so that they can kill the baby boys during the time uh, the women, the, the women who are pregnant went to give by the Hebrew women. The Bible is saying that the more they tried, the more it could not work. Because of what? The devil will not, uh, uh, God will not allow the kingdom of the devil to oppress and even if he tries to release the spirit of oppression, God will never allow that which of that which is of him my, uh, be messed up by that which is of the devil. God will never allow. The devil may seem as if he's driving and doing whatever he's doing, but God will never allow. At the end of the day, that's why God is saying, I have now intercepted that which was meant to destroy the country in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, Kenya, you are in a season of uh, generational shifting. The nation of Kenya is in her season of generational shifting. Now, God is a generational God, where God has already transferred mantles. The nation of Kenya, you are in a season of generational shifting, where God has already shifted the mantles. They have already been transferred from the old to the new. And the Lord told me this morning, that one is already done. That's why we are not seeing the right representation in some of these quarters. You are expecting to, this one is going to speak, this one is going to say anything, but they cannot say, because what? God has already, uh, there is a shift in, in a generation that are going to be speaking for God and speaking the things of God in the nation of Kenya, in the name of Jesus. The Lord told me it is already done. Hallelujah. Now there is going to be, and there is going to be witness such a massive exposure. In the, you know, the, the, from the, uh, the mass, uh, massive exposures of the evil and the wicked that has been covered up in the church of Jesus Christ. And the Lord said, it is going to flow even to the, uh, to the state governance. It is going to begin from the church because the judgment of God or whatever, when God comes to clear something and he has a church already here, he's going to begin the massive exposure and the massive uh, clearance from the church. And then it is going to flow to the government, uh, to the state governance. Now, I want the church, uh, I mean the nation of Kenya to know that the nation of Kenya is like a tree and the Lord is saying that I am shaking, it is not being shaken but the height, the mighty heart of God and that which is supposed to fall off, it is going to fall off and that is which is anything that is hanging on this tree that God is calling the tree, that he's calling the nation a tree, that which is supposed to that which is uh, is holding on and posing to be for there and it's just hanging loose and it's not supposed to be there the Lord is particularly for the church of Jesus Christ, the Lord is saying that in this hour it is going to fall off and it is going to be such a massive fall off in the name of Jesus Christ. Now this will cause mass exodus when there is when when whatever is hanging on uh, uh, falls off. Now it is going to cause uh, and it is going to touch the priesthood of the country and this is going to cause a massive exodus. I'm telling you the truth. Watch the space. There's going to be massive exodus as the people who arrived to, to sow seeds and the seeds never germinated, they now get their eyes open and they look for the true God. Hallelujah. Amen. My God, the people who are told to buy oil and to do all those things, and now they realize, my God of all glory, these things are all fake, they are not scripture. So there is going to be such a massive exodus as people are running from the fake to look for God for themselves in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the fake altars, the fake altars, my God, the Lord is finishing the fake altars yes. because God is positioning the nation of Kenya in the nations of the world by his grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, um, 
Now, the, the, the other thing is that uh, this is God's own mission. This is God's own mission and it is ordained of him. It is God's own mission and it is ordained of him. And it has come to clear that which is not of God. And it is going to be such a, 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 so that it can usher in the move of God in the country in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we have entered into an hour. Uh, that an hour we are calling an hour for the end time. An hour for the end time that is going to bring forth the great move of God in the nation of Kenya. We, uh, we are here about 1972 when the prophetic word about the end time revival was uh, was mentioned by uh, T.L. Uh, Osborne in the nation of Kenya. So we have entered into that hour right now where that great move of God is going to be witnessed in the nation of Kenya by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. And I want everybody to know that no one can curtail this. No one can hinder this. Nothing can sabotage this and nobody can, stop, can, can hinder it or stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to say something this morning by the grace of God we have said this and we have heard it before now some of the past renowned voices in Kenya both in the church and in the government the Lord is saying are going to be permanently silenced by God himself anything anybody any voice that has not been speaking or, or uh, you know advising or uh, you know saying these that are for the agenda of God for the nation of Kenya right now the Lord is saying he's silencing that uh, by himself in the name of Jesus Christ now I want the, uh, the nation of Kenya to know that the scripture of the wicked uh, the people who come from other nations and they want to bring their gods here and to do things that are messing up the prophetic destiny of this country the scripture of the wicked cannot stand in the land that is allotted for the righteous that is for the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus hallelujah so God is clearing for us that mess that has covered up in the country that has covered up in the nation that which is of God God is clearing all that by his grace in the name of Jesus Christ now it's a season for wealth transfer the wicked has been piling up the wealth for the sake of the righteous so we are going to see a lot of that a lot of that hallelujah we are going to see a lot of wealth transfer in the name of Jesus Christ now God the God of our creation has come to defend the cause of the poor. You know, the Bible says, I will defend the cause of the poor, the needed, the orphans, and the widows in the nation of Kenya. And the Lord is saying, he is massively going to brother the people who acquired, oh my God, this one, uh, the people who uh, massively acquired, you know, by touching the poor, you know, the poor, the needed, the orphans. God is going to cause a brother in their in their in their world, and God is going to restore that so that He can uh, He can heal the nation by His grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I, I'm requesting, you know, I'm looking at the Word of God, uh, the story of uh, of uh, of Zacchaeus. When Zacchaeus appeared before Jesus, he knew, I am a thief. I have done one, two, three things. He only appeared in the presence of the Lord. He knew I am a thief. I have been a tax collector, but I am a thief. And the Bible shows, he said, I am going to return. Whatever I have spoken, well, I mean, whatever I have stolen. Jesus did not even preach to Zacchaeus, but he knew, I need to restore. Hallelujah. May the presence of God in this country cause people to realize whatever evil they have done in the church and in the nation, all over, even in the marketplaces. May the citizens of the nation of Kenya be quickened by the grace of God to know their sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, as the Lord was releasing to me this word in my spirit, he said he's going to touch some three families in this country. And it's not going to be a very good dance to dance. He's going to touch by his heart because his heart is already outstretched. He's saying he's going to touch some three families. I will not mention names because the Spirit of God has not allowed me to do that. But anybody in the Spirit is aware of what the Lord is about to do in the name of Jesus. Those people who have piled up riches in the land and uh, they have touched the, you know, the, the untouchable, they have touched the poor, the orphans and the needy. Anyway, even if you are in the village, God is going to touch that. God is coming to defend the cause of these people by his grace in the name of Jesus Christ. So what am I saying as a prophet in the land I say you know I was hearing the cry for souls I'm crying for the souls of the wicked I'm crying for the souls of the people who have been doing evil things and they think that God has not seen God has seen all this and he's requesting that these souls be turned to him in the name of Jesus Christ now any evil that has been plotted even in the church in a family setup that that is that has uh, uh, that has a point of uh, or a, or a touch of corruption, any evil, the, or, or the evil agents and whatever uh, they have done even at night. You know, sometimes God opens your eyes to go to some meetings at night and you hear some things and conspiracies. Even as you pray for nations, you hear some conspiracies in some, some rooms and some meetings. The Lord is saying, anything that is hidden, that is conspired by any form of corruption or any form of evil to try to mess up the destiny of this country, because Kenya is a father nation in Africa. The Lord is saying, he is already going to expose that. Luke chapter 2 
12, verse 2 and 3. God, nothing evil, nothing evil concealed. Even if it is a family setup, nothing evil that will not be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. So as a prophet of God, I'm healing the cry in my spirit for the souls of men and women. Let people turn to the fear of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I released a word and I said sometimes back, there is death in the port and, uh, uh, and only God's grace and mercy can intervene. Where, uh, when there is genuine repentance. Where people genuinely repent, where God has released judgment, it is only genuine repentance that can turn that love of God from the lives of people. So let everybody do personal soul searching by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm requesting the nation of Kenya, bless yourself prophetically, bless yourself prophetically. I've even prepared my own very children, bless yourself prophetically. I'm requesting the church of the nation of Kenya, bless yourself prophetically, because the long-waited, uh, the long-waited move of God is here. The long-waited move of God is here. And uh, God is going to position the country of Kenya in the nations of the world. The, no the Lord is going to position the nation of Kenya right away in the nations of the world. And the nation of Kenya will be honored all over the world in the name of Jesus. Now, it is a divine positioning that is going to restore that which uh, position that which God will do for this country. And the church of the nation of Kenya will be honored in the nations of the world by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, and God is going to clear anything and anybody that is standing on his way as he has come to do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to clarify something. I want to clarify something because I've said uh, God is a generational God. God is a generational God. Now, what is exalted and honored and glorified, much of what is exalted and glorified and honored in the nation of Kenya is covered up in the church of this Jesus Christ. It is not authentic. It is not authentic. And uh, now, it is now time that God is is going to bring into the limelight the Daniels of our time, the Josephs of our time, the Esthers of our time, the Daniels of our time, the Timothys of our time, the Deborahs of our time, and the Titus of our time. People who know no compromise in the church. Their yes is yes and their no is no. We are about to see that move of God in this country by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord has told me He has already prepared these people. He has already prepared them and he, set, he has already set them apart. And this hour, he's now going to bring them out. Hallelujah. So we are going to hear different voices speaking for God in this country. Not the usual and the ordinary. The usual and the ordinary is over. The usual and the ordinary is over. It is time for the new, by the grace of God. Because it's time for the new move of God in the name of Jesus. I began by saying what God has said, that the mantles have already been transferred. The mantles have already been transferred by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Now, I want to clarify something as a voice of God in the country. That nobody is fighting the church. The Lord said, nobody is fighting the church. Hallelujah. We already know the scripture that the Bible says that the church is built on the lock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. So nobody is fighting the church in Kenya. This is what, because nobody can fight God. Church is a move of God that nobody can fight God. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody can fight God. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is what is happening. Now it is God has told me this morning. It is his own own operation. And what God is doing is that He's clearing some messes up. Ah. God is clearing some messes. Oh, hallelujah. Church cannot continue selling stuff. Whatever is called church cannot continue selling stuff. People cannot continue in a divination. People cannot continue in immorality and they are covering up in the church. People cannot continue using demonic rings and demonic chain and they are covering up in the church. The Lord is saying, I am the one who is op in operation now. He's clearing some messes. Hallelujah. The Lord has come to separate the wheat from the chaff. Woo! He has come to separate the wheat from the tares. Hallelujah. And in a few days, the church will outburst with the power, with the glory and with authority. Hallelujah. The church is about to outburst. The authentic church is not, is not cartel, has not compromised, has not deferred herself. The church is still intact. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying, in a few days, this authentic church is about to outburst with the power, with the glory, and with authority. Because the Bible says our kingdom is not a kingdom of words, but it is a kingdom of power. And the Lord is saying in a few days, hallelujah. As the Lord is clearing the spirit of Pharaoh, the spirit of Herod in the country, then he's going to position the right church in, the, in, in her place, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This church will not, will not be defiled. This church will not be compromised. Hallelujah. We shall rebuke even authorities. 
why by authority in the name of Jesus. We honor them, but we shall restore order in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, the nations of the world are waiting for the end time move that is being birthed in the nation of Kenya. The end time move of God is being birthed in the nation of Kenya. So God has to clear Herod. God has to clear the fellows. God has to clear everybody and anything that has been standing on the way, posing as if it is teaming up with the true church and it is working for the kingdom of darkness. That operation is beginning now. And I want to prepare the nation of Kenya from the 15th day of June 2020. Oh my God. Prepare yourself. God will clear anybody and anything, anybody, my Jehovah, anything that was conspired during the night or during the day against the prophetic destiny of this country. The Lord has already outstretched his heart and is going to clear that by his own mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm preparing the country, prepare to watch some things you have never watched on the, on the TVs, prepare to hear some things on the radio, prepare to see and to witness some things you have never been witnessed because God is I mean, creating every mess on his way to affect his agenda for the destiny of Kenya in the name of Jesus Christ. The other thing I want to prepare the nation for, the Lord is saying uh, he has given us a season of abundance. The rays we are seeing and whatever we are seeing is because the Lord has given us a season of abundance. I want to prepare the farmers and the government of the nation of Kenya. Stock the food. Stock the food. Because after this, the nation of Kenya will enter into a season of famine. Uh -uh. Stock the food. We shall have a period of abundance and the Lord is saying in some few days, I don't know, I don't want to say how many days or how many years, the nation of Kenya will enter into a season of famine. So let the farmers stock the food. Let the government of Kenya stock the food. Hallelujah. Because the nation of Kenya will enter into a season of drought. But it is all in the process of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to say that Jesus is coming back and is coming for a people or for a church that is not defiled. I want to clarify something as a prophet in this country that Jesus is not coming for Christians. The people who are baptized and who are given English names, Jesus is not coming for that. Jesus is coming for the sons of God. Jesus is coming for his bride. Jesus is coming back for his body. The Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So Jesus is a son of God. He's our firstborn brother. So he's coming for his own brethren. Hallelujah. Not the people who have been given positions and people who have been given titles or names by other means. Now, the other thing I want to clarify by the grace of God is that... Um, Church is not a region. Church is not a region. And I want to say boldly as a prophet in this country that there is no way, there is no way and no way, biblically from Genesis to Revelation, the region cannot speak for the church. Church is a body of Jesus Christ. So that the region speak for their own and then the church speak on their own in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the church speak for herself in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm requesting the church because we know what the Lord is doing and whatever is happening in the nation of Kenya, nobody can fight the church. Mm -mm. Nobody can fight the church. Church is a force. It is a move of God. And nobody can fight the move of God. So let the church position herself in a place of authority, in a place of power, in a place of the glory of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, for that reason, I finish by saying the Lord has requested that the church of Jesus Christ avoid fighting loose battles. Avoid, avoid fighting battles that are not your battles. Do not fight with the religious people. Fight, do not fight with, the, with anybody. Let us remain in our position and we are going to see the, the glory of God. Let the church be still in her position and we are going to see the glory of God in Jesus' name. Let us not be diverted. Let the concentration of the church not be diverted. Hallelujah. If you are praying, pray. If you are fasting, fast. If you are preaching, preach. Hallelujah. Let your, your concentration not be diverted. Stop fighting unnecessary battles in Jesus' name. Remain on course. Hallelujah. Remain on course. Because God is up to something. And whatever he period for the church in this country, Nobody can stop it, and no power of darkness here on earth is going to stop that in Jesus' name. So, as a prophet in the nation, I know some of these things we say, and people will say you are judging. There is dead in the pot, and this dead can only be averted by the prophetic graces in the country, and the uh, true, I mean, uh, true repentance that comes from the lives of people. There are some things and some people God has cleared from the way in the nation of Kenya, so that the nation of Kenya may be delivered by the grace of God in Jesus' name. So, as a prophet, I came to give God permission. Let God. God clear anybody and anything that is a hindrance of his mission in the nation of Kenya in Jesus' name. God bless you.